Hello there geographers and welcome back to another topic review video. Last time on the channel we talked about unit 6 topic 7 and we looked at infrastructure. Today we're going to be going into unit 6 topic 8 where we're going to be going into urban sustainability. And if you've been finding value in these topic review videos consider subscribing and liking the video. It's free and not only does it help support the channel but it makes sure that you get notified when I post future topic review videos. Now when talking about urban sustainability we have to understand what a sustainable city is and how it seeks to achieve its goals goals. Sustainable cities use urban planning to create a healthy and vibrant community. It offers different economic and social opportunities while also trying to mitigate the environmental impact of the city. The goal here is to offer a high standard of living for residents in the city without compromising future generations to achieve the same goal. In the world today, we can see cities struggling with new population changes, resource management, and trying to find new ways to protect their natural environment. As cities grow, and urban sprawl happens, we see cities continue to expand outwards. This ends up reducing the amount of arable land around a city, replacing farmland and low density areas with an urban landscape. In Europe and other parts of the world, we see green belts put in place to try and mitigate the impact of urban sprawl. Green belts are areas where homes and businesses are not allowed to develop. Land is left untouched and it protects the natural environment. While in the United States, we see many cities implement smart growth policies that seek to mitigate urban sprawl and protect their natural environment by motivating citizens to move back into urban areas and prevent them from expanding outward into the rural landscape and also farmland. And recently we've seen new policies put in place such as new urbanism. These policies seek to reduce urban sprawl by making life easier and more affordable in the city. This is done by increasing public transportation, creating mixed-use neighborhoods, increasing the amount of parks, and providing access to a variety of goods and services for residents in the city. This reduces the need to continue expanding outwards from the city. New urbanism policies also strive to make cities a walkable city, which allow people to be able to get out of their homes to walk to the grocery store or go to the park for a walk. This allows people to have a higher standard of living and enjoy living in the city without it feeling like a concrete jungle that they can't get around. Today we're also starting to see societies change their energy policies as more cities continue to use solar, wind, and hydroelectricity instead of relying on fossil fuels. This is not only changing their public transportation, but the energy that powers the goods and services and homes of people living in the city. All of this reduces the carbon footprint of cities and allows citizens to live a healthier lifestyle. And while all this sounds great, there is some criticisms to this urban sustainability and urban planning. As many of these new urbanism policies, smart growth policies and green belts might promote a healthier standard of living, more sustainable cities. At the same time though, they're going to raise the cost that cities have to pay in order to maintain these cities. And it's also going to raise the cost of zoning and rezoning and creating more public transportation, switching an energy grid. All of this could make it more difficult to live in a city as taxes may have to go up. And that could then hurt economic opportunities for citizens within the city. Now, some people would disagree with these criticisms and say in the long run they'll also offer more economic opportunities and will create a better social setting for people. Many people worry that these initiatives will end up making a city just too expensive to live in. People will be pushed out into the suburbs which will increase urban sprawl which is the exact opposite of what these policies seek to do. And at the same time this will change not only the population demographics of the city but it will also change the location of businesses, goods and services and could actually do more harm than good. Another concern that's brought up is all of these new initiatives often involve infrastructure. And like we talked about in our previous videos, infrastructure is expensive. And the more infrastructure we build, we have to maintain it. And not all infrastructure is necessarily profitable. And someone's got to pay for that. Another fear that people have is that money to fund these new initiatives will not be equally distributed throughout society. Many people fear that the funds that are used for these initiatives will disproportionately go to more wealthier communities communities, which will further segregate cities and provide more opportunities for wealthier individuals in a city and less for less affluent communities. There's also some concerns that these new changes to our city's spatial layouts and also urban policies will destroy some of the unique cultural landscapes that have been created in many historic neighborhoods. And this will then lose some of the unique city charm. So we can see that there's a variety of different opinions when it comes to sustainable cities. On one hand, we can see people 
people who say we need to focus on this issue now instead of later in order to protect our farmlands, our arable land, our air, water, and just our natural environment. Sustainable cities will offer a higher standard of living, new economic and social opportunities, and can make sure that we live in a sustainable manner that not only raises our standard of living today, but also increases more opportunities for future generations. And like we heard on the other side of the debate, we have people that say with the government getting involved in implementing urban policy, it's going to create inefficiencies in the market. And it's actually going to have the opposite effect of the intended policies. And by trying to regulate and change our policies, it's going to add cost to cities. And it's going to make it so they're less sustainable because financially they won't be able to support these new initiatives. And when it comes to that debate, well, you'll just have to let me know what you think when you're answering the questions on the screen right now and checking your answers in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on sustainable cities, on urban policies like smart growth, new urbanism, or green belts. Should cities be implementing one over the other, or should they not be doing anything at all? And while you're down there checking your answers to the questions on the screen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And if you need any other help with your AP Human Geography work, check out my Ultimate Review Packet. It's a great resource, I talk about them in all the videos, but it covers all the units, and it'll make sure you can get an A in your class and a 5 on the national exam. Alright geographers, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Mr. Sin, and as always, thank you for joining us today, and until next time, I'll see you guys online.